got a Fiamma Skylight for more van conversion. So I've marked out what it says 390 by 390 and then cut it out. So I'm just going to follow these edges down and then make sure the Skylight fits. So all these edges are followed down now. Give this a walk around just to try and create a good seal. And note is that on the Kangoo you have got these little ridges. So all that's going to mean is that you want to make sure you've got enough filler along here. So there's no gap. You don't want any spaces, any gaps. So got myself some long lasting transparent kitchen and bathroom sealant which I'm going to run around the edge plenty of it and then I've got myself some self tappers just going to screw down I think it's 20 self tappers and then just cover the head once it's screwed down with a bit of silicon to stop the water running down through the screws it's all fitted now silicon and screwed around it's not too bad for underneath once it trims around there be nice and tidy. See from the top. Silicon all the way around the bottom. Silicon on the cap and the screws and the heads. So these are the original panels that came in the van. You can see I've marked out where the so called window would be, where the panel is, which I'm going to use as storage. So I'm going to cut this out. I had to trim a little bit off the top where the insulation is but in theory these should fit straight back into where you took them out from another little pointer uh, if you're going to be jigging out different shapes and weird shapes best thing to do is to use a drill with a big enough drill bit that your jigsaw blade will fit through and drill in these corners that way you can spin the jig around any way you need to and continue cutting so this is what I was saying, that's going to fit in there. And then, got all this storage space behind. Where my hand is, that will all be tied. All of this will be covered. So, get in there slowly. So this is the four way stretch carpet. Cut a rough shape out, giving yourself, you know, a good, good little overhang the whole way around. Make sure you mark which way you want the carpet to sit get your high temperature adhesive let's give it a nice little coat both surfaces to do your door as well Then, The reason I've left so much excess here is because once it's screwed against the wall, this will stop it from peeling off and coming undone eventually. It's actually quite forgiving stuff so you can work creases out. That's it. So it's the two panels in now. Too bad. Just all the rest of it to do now. So I started with the carpet on the roof, on the ceiling. What I did was I tucked it in here first. 
and then bit by bit I've been spraying behind the carpet and the ceiling and then just pushing up probably only doing you know 200 mil at a time just to make sure that there's enough adhesive to stay wet and it's getting into all the crevices Start to turn in this light. I've cut out this guy, obviously. Oh, trim all the edges. Jumps are good. Enough. 